all right, I'm trying to clean up my bench and I got distracted. Um, and I thought, oh, shoot, I better make a video. So uh, you saw me make this uh, resistor substitution box and it, it's great. I'm, I'm using it all the time. I'm really enjoying it. It's very, very easy to set and quick and it has the basically the values you need. But sometimes you need something a little bit more accurate. Um, so uh, I've shown this a couple times on video. Uh, I said that I, I, I bought this one busted. Uh, this, this, this one doesn't work at all. And, uh, but these all work. And actually this one used to be here and I moved it over and anyway, um, these are like super expensive though, but they're really nice. I like these too. So if you need a really exact number, you can, you can dial it in here and uh, they're great. But these are like a couple hundred bucks. So yeah, these are, these are ridiculous. This is an RS 200. So uh, yeah, if you have a lot of money, yeah, go ahead and buy one, but wow, they're expensive. Um, then uh, I've shown uh, this thing before on camera. Uh, so if you need something super accurate, this is good to 0.01%. I picked this up for 60 bucks, so maybe you can get lucky and find one too. Um, and uh, uh, it, it measures, I mean, it, it can set everything from uh, 1.2 megs, 1.2 meg ohms to 1 ohm. Uh, so it's nice to have a dual one. So, uh, like I said, you've seen that before. Uh, I think you've seen this one too. This is just a single one. So, so these are basically two of them and this is one of them. This one's a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. Uh, and this one's good to 1.2 K. So not a very big range. Um, I think it's good for 0.1 ohms to 1.2, 1.2, 0, 0, 0. No, I guess it's just ohms. I guess these are ohms. So one ohm to uh, 1.2 ohms, but very, very accurate. Uh, I picked this one up real cheap too, because people don't know what they are. So keep an eye out for them. If somebody knows what it is, they're going to charge a lot of money for it. But a lot of times people don't know what these things are and they just think they're old analog things that nobody cares about any longer. So look for those. Okay. But the point of the video is doing it on the cheap. I know a lot of my viewers don't have any money and I didn't have any money for a very, very long time. And so we're always looking for doing things on the cheap. Uh, let me move this out of the way so I can have some, I have some room here. Okay. So doing it on the cheap, I've showed this before. Um, if you can just find individual resistors, sometimes you don't need to be able to set them with a knob. Sometimes you can just move your clip leads and, and there's your knob. So if you can find a bunch of nice resistors and put them on a board, then you can go clip, 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 and that, that works just fine. Um, so these are uh, a bunch of resistors. Uh, like I said, I've showed this before. These are 0.01% resistors as well. So really, really nice one. So, I mean, you know, if you can find just one percenters, what might be uh, good enough for you, right? Just have a whole bunch of one percenters, but all the different values. Um, and, and that's all you really need. And you can do that super, super cheap. Um, another thing you can do is look for uh, used equipment when you're tearing it apart. Uh, try to save things that seem to be valuable. So this was in some piece of equipment, and I don't remember what equipment it was, but it had a knob on the front that was like settings, right? Ranges on, on, on the thing. And so a lot of times you get test equipment and it'll just be worthless, right? It'll be an old power meter that you don't have the sensor for, or an old voltmeter that's, that's got a broken meter in it, you know, but the, the electronics is still there. So you, you rip it apart, you save the box, put things in the box, but sometimes the PC boards will be a little treasure trove. Uh, so this particular thing uh, struck my interest uh, because it had a whole bunch of these really, really expensive um, resistors on it. You know, these are, I think these are 0.01% resistors as well. So it had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it had a range switch. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I figured it out. It's actually these are switching in and out the resistors. So, so I sawed this out on the bandsaw. You can see this is the edge of the board here. And then I just sawed this part off and threw the rest of the board away. And I kept this piece because I knew it was, it was, was useful. So let's, uh, let's hook it up to a, uh, let's hook it up to a, a ohm meter here and see, and see what it'll do. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start all the way over here counterclockwise and we'll step through them. And we'll, we'll see what it, uh, we'll see what it measures. So here it's measuring two, uh, two K ohms, 2.000.8, right? And that's probably the re lead, lead resistance. So let's, yeah. So let's zero out the lead resistance. All right. And 
see what our two ohms is measuring. There we go, uh, 2K.0006, right? That's great. Go to the next one, uh, 4.0007. Uh, there's 10K, 9.99, yeah. Uh, here's 20K, almost perfect. Look at that. Wow, very, very nice. There's 20K. And here's 40K. And here's 100K. And the last one is 200K. That was the second to last. And then the last one, oh, the last one's 100 ohms. So that's kind of weird. So the very last one's 100 ohms. Uh, but yeah, so uh, 200K, 100K, 40K, 20K, 10K, 4K, 2K. Yeah, so that's, I mean, so that's super valuable, right? So if that's all you had, in, that's all you had in your garage, it's great, right? So you could do a lot of things with that. Um, certainly for checking meters or for checking other things. Yeah, this is a great little, a great little, uh, it's not decade, but it, but it, uh, it has a lot of values that you can use, right? So save things. If you find them, save them. And I've saved this for many years now. Um, all right. So the thing that I kind of wanted to talk about when I was rearranging things in the garage, uh, I had these, which I rarely use, and I don't think they've made it onto camera yet, um, but someday I will need one. <laughs> um, so they come as a kit, I think. I think some come assembled and some come as a kit. And I don't remember which is which. But anyway, uh, these are, this is a, um, uh, let's see, let me see what the values are here. I can't read it, it's too small, getting too old. This is good from one microfarad to 9,999 microfarads in one microfarad steps. So here's the one microfarad capacitors and tens and hundreds, I guess. Oh, let's see, these are thousands. These are thousands of microfarads, so and then these are hundreds of microfarads, and, and then, oh, I guess there's tens and ones. Um, so yeah, so you can buy these things on eBay. They're super cheap. Um, like I said, I don't remember if they were kit or put together. Uh, this one looks like it was a kit because it's my ugly soldering on the back. And this one looks like it was delivered, put together. So yeah, there you go. Maybe they come both ways. Um, or maybe I just did a good job of cleaning this one after I was done with it. <laughs> you never know. Anyway, so I've got two of those. I don't know why I have two of these, but I do. Um, and then there's another one. So those are one microfarad to a lot of microfarads. And then there's this one, which is one nanofarads to 10,000 nanofarads in one nanofarad steps. So this is one nanofarad steps. This is one microfarad steps. Um, so, so this one's really cool too. And it has these uh, polyfilm capacitors. Um, voltage 100 volts. Huh, interesting. So here's the switches for nanofarad, tens of nanofarads, hundreds of nanofarads, and thousands of nanofarads. So click them in and out. And I wish, I wish they would put these um, binding posts uh, on three quarters of an inch centers. That's what banana jacks are. It'd be nice to be able to plug banana jacks in these things, and, and they don't. Um, so that's too bad. Um, and it would have been nice if these had banana jacks also, but they don't. Uh, you have this little screw terminal thing here, but oh well. Uh, banana jacks are nice for, I don't know, in my, in my world, I like banana jacks. And then uh, here's one for resistance. And uh, this one has surface mount resistors all on the back. And then they gave you a little uh, 3D printed case. You can barely see the resistors through the slots there in the back. There's a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of resistors. And they're pretty big ones. They're, they're big packages. So they're probably good for a quarter watt, I would guess, something like that. Uh, does it say on the front? 100 milliwatts. Really? One watt? Really? Well, maybe. They're pretty big ones. So it says one watt. I don't have to believe them. One percenters. And then you move the little jumpers, the little um, jumper pins around and get everything from 0.1 ohms to 100 k ohms. So that's pretty valuable. And once again, <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
once again, they don't put it on 0.75 centers. It should be on three quarters, three quarters centers, but they don't. So that one really, that one really bugged me. When I got it, I thought, oh great, eh, fail. Anyway, I guess people don't use banana jacks anymore. Anyway, um, so let's take a look at some manufacturers here. This one says Black Box Tech. Electron CTL net? I don't know. Anyway, that's what that one says. Uh, this one doesn't say anything. Let's see. Oh, electronics-salon. Electronics-salon version 1.0. And these say www.arduinomall.com. Interesting. Arduinomall.com. So that's where those come from. So anyway, uh, it's nice uh, to be able to get some things on the cheap. And um, I used to use this one quite a bit um, until I got uh, until I got this one. I use this one now, but uh, until then I was using this one quite a bit, and uh, it works fine. I just haven't had any need for the capacitor ones yet um, for anything I'm working on, or if I do. I don't know. If I do, I forget I have them. <laughs> I do that all the time. You know, oh yeah, I should have used that thing I've got. It would have been perfect. I probably could have used this when I was doing that audio work that I was doing. I, I should have remembered that I had this one. These would have been useless, but this one would have been valuable. Um, so shoot, <laughs> should have remembered. Okay, there you go.